So hi and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a prepping application video of a glass coating. So the one that I'm using today is the Pyramid Car Care Glass Coating. Um, but what I really kind of wanted to do with this video is talk more about the process of preparing the glass and really kind of make it sort of applicable to all kind of glass coatings or sealants, whatever you might be using. I think glass is one of the harder surfaces to prepare, to be honest, and to get the most out of your windshield coating, then it's really, really important to make sure you're putting a bit of time into that process and making sure you get it right. So here is going to be the complete process of how I did this. So the first product that I'm using here is Garage Therapy Decontamination Shampoo. Well, it's a very versatile product, this one, so of course you can use it as a shampoo, you can use it as a snow foam, but also you can just pop it in a sugar spray. Um, so I was using this from 1 in 10, and so it was one part of the product to nine parts of water. Spraying it on the surface and then working it in with this really soft detailing brush from GB Detailing. So of course you can use a wash mitt for this stage if you wanted to, I'm sure that it would be probably just as effective. But I just thought that the brush gave it a little bit more of a chance to really kind of agitate the, the surface and just to kind of get it really squeaky clean at this point. So here I'm just really kind of getting the surface prepped for the next sort of stages of the decontamination. As the glass is a little bit more complicated and this decon shampoo wasn't going to do everything but it's a good place to start. Here when you can see me rinsing it off you can see that there's very very little to no water behaviour at all on the glass at this point. I was sort of wearing down the glass protection. I just had a water repellent glass cleaner on there around a month before so decon didn't really have any problems in terms of shifting that. Here you can see kind of the main issue with preparing a windshield for a glass coating or sealant and that is kind of the watermarks and stains really left behind that things like a shampoo really just can't cope with. But the next step of the process what I wanted to do was just clay the glass. Now it wasn't really going to help with those kind of water spots and marks but what it would help with is just getting the glass contaminant free and it's just sort of good practice. I thought I might as well do this step. The glass coating that I was applying has a claim of one to two years durability so I really just wanted to give it the best chance and decontaminate it properly using a clay bar. So for this case, just using built hamber soft clay. Didn't really need anything too much more aggressive for this as the glass did feel smooth already, to be honest. And then using the decon shampoo again works in with that brush just to provide a bit of lubrication for the clay bar. So rinsing it off here and you can still see when I kind of zoom in a little bit more that basically a lot of these water marks really were still there and you can see them even more when you go over it with a towel and you can see where the water's just not evaporating and it's still kind of stuck on. Now this is sort of a kind of enemy really when applying any kind of glass product although the glass you know would appear very clean after this it's still not and this water watermarks really kind of need to be removed at this stage. So the products that I used on this was Tax Systems Water Spot Remover. Now I did the rookie error of applying the products and looking at the instructions afterwards. It does say to apply it to the cloth and then work it in rather than applying it directly but it did work fine. Then I went over it with a damp microfiber to just see really whether it had tackled those watermarks and you can see that it did a very very good job. The only case where it hadn't removed them was at the very bottom where I just hadn't worked in the product enough. So what I did again was following the correct instructions on the bottle and applying it to a microfiber was just to work it in again. So I went over the glass, the, the entire glass again, just to kind of give it a really, really deep clean, although it had pretty much removed everything at this point, but just paid particular attention to those areas that still had those watermarks. The next step that I did was to just clean the glass down. Now, probably didn't really need this step considering I was using a panel wipe next but I did want to try this glass cleaner and see how it performed so it's quite a thick glass cleaner this one from Pyramid Car Care and it smells absolutely fantastic so I did really enjoy using this. Then to really get the glass squeaky clean I applied G Technic panel wipe and just worked that in with a waffle weave microfiber to ensure there kind of wasn't any fibres left on the glass and just to give it a really really thorough clean before applying the coating. So next I am applying the coating itself. Now, like I mentioned, this is the Pyramid Car Care Glass Coating and it comes with this microfiber applicator. So this is really, really useful and you can just sort of let the product drip onto it. 
and apply a decent layer on there. You probably want at least sort of five to eight drops of the product on there. As you can see, I had to apply a couple more as the product was running out a little bit and kind of soaked into the applicator. But what I did was work this in with a cross hatch pattern and quite light pressure so that I wasn't removing the product. Then you wait 15 seconds and you just go over and level the product. Now the aim at this stage isn't to remove the product, it's just to level it to remove any of those high spots when you're actually applying it. And then immediately after doing that, what you do is just basically buff the product off entirely. Now I can say that this product was probably one of the easiest products I've ever actually worked with and that's regardless of any area of the car, not just the glass. There was a very, very thin film to buff off, but it just came off effortlessly. It was so, so easy to work with this product and the fact that the whole application product process, sorry, for half a windshield took about 30 seconds, I thought was pretty impressive. So what it says to do is to apply two coats and that's kind of the best sort of practice of it. Now, I left around four hours between them as that is sort of the maximum cure time that you'll need. Having spoken to Pyramid Car Care, it's probably not necessary to wait that long. Around sort of half an hour would probably be fine and possibly even less. It, again, would probably depend on the conditions you were working in. But I just wanted to give it the best chance and I had time on the day. So four hours later, I went ahead and applied a second coat of this product using the same process I did at the start. So as I said, I will be doing a sort of full review of this product. So this is just more talking about the application. What I'm going to be doing is sort of a review talking about the water behaviour, a little bit more about the product itself and sort of some of the claims and kind of my first month of using this product. So this will be my next video going out as I filmed the application a while ago but I just wanted to make sure the videos were close together. I didn't want it to be too much of a sort of teaser giving this video of the application and then waiting a while to actually upload the full review. So if you aren't subscribed already, definitely hit the subscribe button so you can check out that video when it comes out. Now the final step I wanted to do here, once the glass coating was applied, was just to clean the windshield wipers. Now I clean them every time I wash the car just with the wash mitt, but I just wanted to give them a more of a thorough clean. So we used this all-purpose cleaner at a 1 in 10 ratio and just gave the wipers a bit of a scrub with this microfiber and kept sort of flipping the microfiber every now and again to make sure I wasn't effectively rubbing the dirt back in. And you can kind of see when I show you the close-up of the microfiber just how, how sort of dirty they are even when you think they're clean. So it's definitely worth doing this step if you are applying any kind of protection to your glass. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, it'd be brilliant if you could give it a like. Comment down below if you've got any questions about the process and subscribe for weekly detailing videos and keep an eye for that Pyramid Car Care glass coating review. So thanks again and I'll see you next time.